All right, let's take this question on the differentiation of implicit function. The question say find the derivative of x raised to power y is equal to y raised to power x. Hello, we have x raised to power y is equal to y raised to power x. Find the derivative with respect to x. So in this case, we are going to take natural log leading on both sides. We are going to take the natural word log leading on both sides. So now let's see what we are going to do. We are going to say in x raised to power y is equal to in y raised to power x. Hello. We are going to say what in x raised to power y is equal to in y raised to power x. Now, you know, the exponent, let's take it to back of in. You get it? Now, let me show you what I'm trying to say. We're going to have y in x. You know, in this, in x raised to power y, y is the exponent or the power. So, we bring the y down. So, we have y in x. All right? Equal to, in the other side, x is the exponent. We bring it down also. So, we're going to have x in y. Okay? Now, here, differentiating with respect to x, we are going to have the derivative of y in x. You know, this place here, we are having, we are having two functions here. We are having in, we are having y in x. So, here, we are going to apply product rule. Hello? We are going to apply what product rule we have y and then we have in x so we are going to find the derivative of y derivative of y is going to give us dy all over the x then multiply by in x then plus the derivative of in x we give you one all over x times y hello good equal to Let's go to the other side. We have x in y. This is, we are also going to use product rule also in this place. That means we are going to have the derivative of x is going to give us what? The derivative of x is going to give us 1. And then times in y. And then plus the derivative of in y. Is going to give you 1 all over y dy all over the x then times x hello hope you understand what I, what I did here right okay please pay attention you understand it is very simple okay now let's go so we are having in x dy all over the x plus y times 1 all over x is equal to 1 all over y dy all over the x times x plus in y times 1 so that means you are having in a function here now in x dy all over the x plus y times 1 all over x is equal to in y times 1 it will give you in y plus 1 all over y dy all over the x times x okay now let's go from here uh let's open the bracket okay now that means we're going to have in x dy all over the x plus let me see y times one all over x is going to give you y all over x is equal to uh we have Let's bring uh, this term at the back to the front. Okay? So, when you are bringing it, you are going to say 1 all over y times x is going to give you x all over y. Then dy all over the x. Then plus in y. Okay? Good. Okay, from here now, let's collect like terms. The terms that are having dy all over the x, let's bring them to one side. So, we are going to have in x, dy all over the x minus x all over y dy all over the x is equal to in y minus y all over 
X. Okay, good. From here now, let's uh, factor out dy all over the x. Let's factor out dy all over the x because we want to make dy all over the x the subject. So when we factor out dy all over the x, we are going to be left with in x in the first time, then minus x all over y in the second. So equal to, in the other side, we are having in y minus y all over x here let's properly make the y all over the x the subject that means we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of the y all over the x so the coefficient of the y all over the x is in x minus x all over y so that means we are going to have the y all over the x open bracket in x minus x all over y divided by in x minus x all over y is equal to in y minus y all over x divided by in x minus x all over y okay so finally we'll be having the y all over the x is equal to in y minus y all over x all over in x minus x all over y so therefore the derivative of the function x raised to power y is equal to y raised to power x with respect to x it will give you dy all over the x is equal to in y minus y all over x all over in x minus x all over y thank you very much for watching please subscribe and also click the bell icon to turn on the notification all right thank you let's take more examples